Let me just create a club. Baby daddies? Question mark? And let me see who's available. Oh, Jeffrey's right there. Okay, maybe I will do Jeffrey then. I will literally do Jeffrey. Oh, oh my god, he's already here. I didn't even need to invite you over. You're just ready for the task. It's been 24 years since the original Sims game was first released. We had the anniversary a couple of days ago, and to celebrate, the Sims team posted a challenge on Twitter. I get it, 24 is not really like a big exciting number, so I wasn't really expecting anything big for this anniversary. I've got higher hopes for The Sims 4's 10th anniversary later this year, but the anniversary of The Sims franchise is always kind of an interesting day ever since we got that 20th anniversary hot tub a few years ago. The bar is set kind of high now, which sounds weird because the hot tub is like universally mocked and hated, but the addition of that hot tub has become such a meme now that I I'm looking for something like that out of all of the anniversary celebrations. We are unfortunately not getting any new game content. There's no update, but they did post this on their social media. It's the Sims 24, well, 24 checklist challenge. And it's basically a long checklist of kind of chaotic things to do in the Sims 4. It reminds me a little bit of the Sims bingo challenges that I've done on my streams and for videos, but it's not bingo. It's just a, a list and some of these things are actually kind of difficult. This lift the curse of the Night Wraith, I have literally never done. I've never, ever, ever done that. I don't really play with spellcasters, so I've just not tried it. Raising a Sim from the dead is not an easy task. There's a lot of work that goes into making the Ambrosia for that. Honestly, even getting to Sixum, that's that alien world, that's kind of hard to do as well. But a bunch of these things are also kind of like a regular day in Simsy's Sims game, like dumpster woohoo, <laughs> eating the cow plants cake, starting a fire. So I think think that today we should attempt this 24 well 24 challenge and see how much of it we can get done. The full list is to woohoo Don Lothario, drown an enemy sim in the pool, start a fire, make a thousand simoleons from a side hustle, eat the cow plants cake, befriend the grim reaper, have twins or triplets, which we're probably gonna save for last because I'm not trying to take care of babies right now, unlock the grilled cheese aspiration, transform into an occult sim, breed a new species of frog, take a selfie at the forgotten grotto, raise a sim from the dead, break into a sim's home, shower in the rain. In their words, woohoo Vladdy daddy, bring Patchy the scarecrow to life, dumpster woohoo, lift the curse of the night wraith, take a chance with pufferfish nigiri, befriend an animal, toilet paper one of the university statues, fight the paparazzi, befriend the talking toilet, and get to six them. So it's a really long list. A lot of these things require packs, but the first half is base game. A couple of these are kind of interesting because you might not realize that you can be a plant sim with just the base game. Plant sims are like barely in a cult, but it does technically count. And they didn't mark breaking into a sim's home as being from a pack because technically with the rent pack, you can literally break in, but I guess with the base game, you can just show up <laughs> and then say that you broke in. I don't know. Now I did make us a small household of sims for this. I've got Stanley Humphrey here, of course. Stanley has a raccoon named Weenie today, and Stanley also has a new bestie called Sterling Silver, who is a spellcaster, and I'm thinking that we're gonna use Sterling for a lot of the, like, more difficult tasks. Look, I hate to say it, but we've gotta kill somebody. <laughs> Somebody's gotta have the curse of the night wraith. We're gonna have to woohoo somehow in order to get pregnant, so, like, I'm kinda just thinking we may as well use them. But I think we're ready, so let's just get started. We have to be kind of strategic about where we we're putting ourselves to make things a little bit easier. And I'm leaning towards Oasis Springs for this. And I'm just gonna move into a default starter home. I'm not trying to build anything fancy today. I'm just trying to win. We are gonna have to buy a couple things. I'm gonna need a cauldron. And I think I'm gonna wanna get some planter boxes as well. We do also unfortunately need a pool <laughs> if I'm gonna drown an enemy sim in it. So I guess I'll just place that down now. And it's so dark in these default houses. So I might also get myself a couple extra lights cause I don't know if I can handle this. And then last, I just want to get an easel because I have to make money from a side hustle and I'm going to count the easel as that. Oh, I almost, oh, I almost forgot about cat stuff. I forgot we have a raccoon. Okay, I'm going to need to get an auto feeder. And honestly, let's just get an auto litter box too because I'm not trying to have to worry about this myself. There's too much going on. And you know what? Let's just start by trying to start a fire. I'm going to see if I can give us a couple unlucky traits to make this a little bit more likely. I'll make us cursed and then I'll use the cheapest stove. And if we're lucky, maybe Maybe Sterling will catch this place on fire. This is kind of our only chance. I am literally begging you to start a fire. Please? No? Oh my god. Okay, well that's disgusting. <laughs> 
that grilled cheese. Okay, I'm gonna have them eat three in a row and then see if we can unlock the grilled cheese aspiration. I guess I'll just have Stanley start painting as well. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, Johnny Zest, I'm really sorry about this. It's it's really unfortunate. What? Who is here from fear of eviction? Oh my god. I keep using an old Stanley who has fears already. I don't need that. We have to drown an enemy. Do you think Johnny Zest is a good option for that? I mean, we may as well just get started because he's here. He showed up. I can kill this one. Oh, I can already fight him and everything. Okay, well, oh. <laughs> We also unlocked the hidden grilled cheese aspiration. So we're off to a good start. Okay, enemy is prepared. The first thing I have done is unlock the grilled cheese aspiration. I think that my next step is gonna be for us to head out to the park because I want to try and catch a cow plant berry. I'll bring the easel so Stanley can just paint there and then we'll have Sterling go out and fish. Okay, Sterling, I need you to come all this way and start going to fish. We can maybe grill some food here and hope that the grill catches on fire. I don't know, there's so many ways to start fire. Hello? Whoa, okay, the game just glitched. I'm gonna save. <laughs> I don't trust it. Unfortunately, Stanley is still dazed because he got beat up, um, but it's fine. <laughs> We'll get through this. We caught something. Oh, it's a violin. That's actually pretty good. I'm not that worried about money today, but it won't hurt to get some extra. <laughs> oh, they caught a cow plant berry. Oh, that's easy. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> Your next step is to go get me some frogs. I might have you come look for frogs in here. So the reason I'm having Stanley paint is to try and get that thousand simoleons from a side hustle. So I figure we can just paint when we have some free time to get some stuff there. Oh, Sterling could not catch a frog. Okay, and neither could Stanley. <laughs> Are there any frogs out here in the environment? There's some food. You want to come grab some of that? Oh, they're going to pee their pants. That's okay. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> we can use the bathroom at home. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not really seeing. Oh, here's a frog. Okay. Stanley, come get that one. We just have to breed a new frog. So as long as we get like two or three different frogs, we should be able to start breeding. I could have sworn there was more frogs around here, but apparently not. I'm only seeing the one. I'm just going to click a million times. I just need to get one more frog. There we go. Okay. Or a couple new frogs. Breed one? That's not a new frog. I think we have to like actually breed a new kind of frog for it to count, right? Like it has to pop up as a third kind. So none of those counted. That's fine. It's okay. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> We've had enough at the park today. And we have so far only crossed off one thing. <laughs> so this is not going that well. I've got a couple plans. Number one is to turn the house into a tiny home because that'll make our stuff grow a bit faster. If I have to like shrink some things and get rid of some furniture, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, <laughs> I might even just get rid of like this whole room. I need it to be 64 tiles. So if that means I have to do a lot of deleting, then so be it. Oh yeah, this has got to be among one of the worst Sims houses I have ever had my Sims live in. This looks so ugly. It's a tier two tiny home though, so we get double skills. Oh, do you need it to be a micro home to get your plants to grow twice as fast as normal? Uh-oh, hold on. I'm doing a little switcheroo. This is not, doesn't really match the style of this lot, okay? This one is made for Mount Komarevi, so it looks kind of bad right here, but listen, listen, listen. I think it could work, and it looks way better, like a million times better. So this is probably for the best. I deleted my cow plant berry, didn't I plant it? I just bulldozed the lot with my cow plant berry place down. Oh my god, that has got to be one of the silliest things I've ever done. Can I get a new one? It I, I have to. I'm allowed a new one. I had one and then I deleted it by accident. That doesn't count. That's not fair. Oh, look, it was here all along. It was never gone. It was right there. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, I need a better bed as well. I cannot do this. I'm gonna need a dumpster too. So I might as well place one of those things down for now just to get that started. All right, I'm gonna get myself some magical plants. I might also get some fruits and just like generally a bunch of plant seeds because we have to start getting this stuff planted. I did get a mandrake. We've got valerian root and not really much else that is useful. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll plant a couple of these things though just so we can have some things growing. Oh my God, the plants aren't even in season. Oh. Oh no, Stanley, we're doomed. Sterling got a potion of plentiful needs. That's pretty good, keep it up. We're gonna have to use some of that stuff. We are a micro home, right? 36 tiles, okay. We are in fact not a micro home. <laughs> now we're a micro home. Took some deleting, again. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to it. We made it to it. It's fine. <gasps> we got our third frog. Okay. Thank you very much. That means I can cross this off. We got two things <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Unfortunately, we do have to start having these two get romantic. I kind of forgot about that, but we only have one bed. So if we want them to like sleep in the same bed, <laughs> we do need to get a move on with that. It is a micro home. So it won't be like that difficult for us to get there. First kiss. Okay. You can just go to sleep. I I'll have them woohoo in a dumpster or something soon. Can you get in that bed or no? Oh, you can. That's actually kind of a miracle. <laughs> 
What? Wait, they both got up in the middle of the night and did something creepy. What was that? That was like synchronized gasping. Why? You can get in this bed. What? Is it because of this? Oh, this micro home's a curse. It's because I kept trying to like shrink it. That's my bad. It works fine normally, <laughs> but not after it's been shrunk. All right, Sterling, are you interested in trying to catch the house on fire again? Just an idea. They're tense because they hate cooking. That's a good start. Come on, please. No! Oh my god. Is that Nancy Landgrab? Oh my god, what's the cat doing with her? <laughs> I'm gonna actually come try and befriend the cat. I think that's my next plan for this morning is just to try and talk to Weenie. Oh. We just became friends with Weenie. I got a pop-up. That was actually really easy. <laughs> Let me get a picture of you. You look kind of creepy, but that's okay. Well, that means we have successfully befriended an animal. So we've done three things. <laughs> you know what else we need to do? Maybe I can make a club of occult sims. Cause if we do this, we should be able to really easily meet some other people. Like I can meet Vlad this way. We can bring him here. And then maybe Vlad can turn Stanley into a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can try and romance him first. Well, that makes things easy. I haven't sold any of our paintings yet. Oh, Vlad's sleeping, duh. That makes sense, I guess. But I'm waiting until we have a thousand smolians worth of art to sell it. And we've got 543 right now. Is that- <gasps> It's Don Lothario! Hold on, that actually makes things really easy. <laughs> I need to talk to you. I need to woohoo with you. Oh, I should be careful about this. If we're gonna like flirt with each other. <laughs> Do you wanna come inside? Cause I don't want Sterling to get upset. I believe that Sterling won't mind, but the game doesn't know that. Dawn is romantic. Do you want to woohoo him in the dumpster? Try for baby with- no, 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 no. Not yet. Although I guess if we have babies, we can just- uh oh. No, you can't be jealous, Sterling. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm terrible. I should have- I mean, I knew what I was doing. It's for the challenge. It's for the challenge. Okay, consider Don Lothario woohooed. Dumpster woohooed. <laughs> <laughs> We've done five things. Can you leave? Because you have just ruined my relationship. Bye, thank you. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> now I made Sterling upset. It had to be done, it had to be done. Oh, now they're gonna cry all day. See, this is so inconvenient. He's back! Dawn, go away! I don't need you right now. I don't care to play with a spellcaster right now. I know that sounds so bad, but it's like, there's just too much to worry about. You know, with all these spellcasters and stuff. We have officially made 1,074 simoleons from painting, so we can stop doing that. Our side hustle is complete. I'm thinking that maybe we try to break into... Oh, how about Johnny Zest's house? It is right here. Let's just go break in there. We can both come. We kind of hate each other right now, but that's okay. <laughs> we can fix it. Break in. I've got no reason to be here other than just like snooping, I guess. But I broke in. <laughs> Consider that one done. I need to fight the paparazzi too. I wonder if we could go to like Del Sol Valley and try and bring Vlad with us just to get to know him a little bit better while we're doing it. As long as I meet them, I can always bring them back here and then have the double relationship gain. <laughs> and in this case, double relationship loss. Surely some form of paparazzi is gonna show up at some point. Oh, there's already a celebrity here. So they've gotta be on their way. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's come give a rude introduction to this sim. Hello, paparazzi. I am here to beat you up. Hello, what are you doing? Rude introduction. Stanley's trying to like stall or something. Let me see if I can bring them home with me then, which sounds creepy, but <laughs> let me see if I can just bring them back real fast. I can, okay. And then maybe while we do this, we can have Sterling try and romance Vlad or something. All right, Stanley, you start yelling at this person. We already have red relationship bar. I don't even know you yet. Really? I'm like, I've barely met you, Vlad. <laughs> maybe they can cloud gaze because that builds the relationship bar green and they can just do it while we're talking. All right, I'm fighting the paparazzi. That was actually really easy. Oh, Stanley's evil. That's fine. You can do that. Oh, they're fighting again. Oh, okay. And I got beat up that time. Right. Well, I fought the paparazzi, so that's another one marked off the list. You know, while we're here, it might be easier for you to just like keep working on potions and, and experimenting. And then maybe Stanley can try and get to know Vlad. Cause then Vlad could probably turn, oh, that did not work. Oh my God. I tried to talk to him. It did not go well. <laughs> Immediate red relationship bar. This is the problem with Vlad. He's very, um, he's very agitating. People really, really don't like him. Cause he like hisses at you. He's really, Really difficult to get to know. Take a soccer ball with Vlad. Oh, maybe he'll like that. Oh, this is working. Oh, that's gonna fix our relationship. Look at how fast it's going down. Oh, never mind, it's back. Can you just keep doing that? I'm serious. We can be friends this way. <laughs> Ignore this part. Ignore this part. I forgot that this Stanley has max cooking skill. He's already had it. I don't know why it's popping up now. No, Vlad. Oh, okay, sorry, false alarm. Magical overload from energy overcharge. Oh, that's good. Tone it down or risk death by overload. Oh, never mind. that's not good. I don't know why I just cheated their need. <laughs> I don't know what just came 
came over me. I was like, oh, the bladder need is low. Okay, just fix it. That was terrible. I'm sorry. I actually, I don't know what I was doing just then. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, we kissed hands. Okay, maybe compliment appearance. It is awkward still. Never mind. It doesn't work. Okay. Every time I think I'm getting somewhere, it turns awkward again. Every single time. Maybe I'll ask him to be my boyfriend. Oh, that worked. Okay. Can we woohoo with Vlad in a shower? Oh, not. Sterling, please don't try and sleep in the bed because I actually need to woohoo in that bed. I'm ready to woohoo with Vlad now. That was actually pretty easy. Aside from like the long period of time it took to make him like me, it wasn't too bad. Well, we have officially woohooed Vladdy Daddy. The next thing that we need to do is get turned into an occult. I may ask him to join my household just briefly because I'm gonna try and have it. Oh, oh, I'll take all his money too. I'm gonna try and have him turn me into an occult and I'll just have him do it real fast because that'll be easy. Vampire, turn into vampire. Here we go. Ready? All right, the deed is done officially. Give us a few days and we'll turn. <laughs> yeah, him being here really inconveniences us with this. Maybe you could start a fire because the other Sims aren't doing a very good job at this. Perhaps you would have a better time trying to like light the place on fire. No way this guy has like any cooking skill, right? Dislike spirited Sims, okay? Hello, resume the Franks and beans. Oh my God. No, no fire, really? Okay, I know what to do. We're getting a fire pit. If anything is gonna catch on fire, it's gonna be this. Like, no chance. Oh, Vlad might catch on fire. Do you think that if I let Vlad burn to death, it counts as starting a fire? <laughs> if I let him burn in the sun, do you think that's gonna count? <laughs> I have to kill Sims and I want him gone anyway, so it's probably for the best. He's literally on fire. I feel like that counts. That also happened really fast. I didn't really mean for it to happen that fast. I'm sorry. Oh, Grim's coming. Oh, good. I have to befriend the Grim Reaper. Okay, Stanley, quick. Just while he's here, don't plead for Vlad. I don't care about that. Friendly introduction? Discuss gourmet dishes? Talk about cooking? Heartfelt compliment, perhaps? Don't mock outfit. Bad. Any sort of like friendly relationship interaction. Hello, darkness, my old chum. Befriend the Grim Reaper. Okay. <laughs> I am saying that we started a fire and we definitely befriended Grimm. We need to befriend the talking toilet. I kind of forgot about that. I can get that right now too. I don't know how easy that is when we're here. Honestly, do you want to try? Friendly chit chat with the, with the toilet? It's been a long time since I did this. This is from City Living. Do you get double relationship gain when you converse with a toilet? Cordial dialogue. No, it kind of takes a while. Okay, just go to sleep. All right, I still need to drown a sim in the pool. So let me come get some people to do that with. Let's call up Johnny Zest. I don't know if he'll come over, <laughs> but we can try. I'm not going to GeekCon. <gasps> Wait, no, let's go to GeekCon. I know that it wants me to get to Sixum. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but at the very least we can go to space. This is like a multiple hour sort of excursion <laughs> in order to do this. What we need to have is the wormhole generator and you need level 10 rocket science skill for that. I can show you what I'm talking about just for the sake of science. Oh, continue installing landing stable. Do I have to do that right now? Oh no, I don't want to spend all day on this. Well, if you have get to work, there's a secret lot that you can visit called Sixum. It literally is like an alien world in space. Honestly, I'm sorry, Sterling, you got to come help me. We're struggling with this one. Does anybody want to help? Anybody at all? And there's two ways you can do it. You can get the wormhole generator on the rocket ship, or if you have the scientist career, there's like a portal that you can access. It requires a lot of effort, but it is kind of cool. Add the wormhole generator. We're going to be here all day. Stan's got to do it by himself too. Okay, well, I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here. Oh my god. Strangely hungry from a weird feeling. Appetite increasing, but not really for food. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what that could be. Oh, it's raining. Oh wait, Sterling, shower in the rain. Get that crossed off. Well, that makes things easy. We were kind of smelly anyway. <laughs> There's a different talking toilet here. I don't know if that's a good idea to like start conversing with a new one, but <laughs> we're gonna have to be here anyway, so I might as well. Let me cross off that shower in the rain button. We're like standing here naked doing this. <laughs> There's something kind of weird about that. It's making me a little uncomfortable. Oh, it says friend. Oh, wait, that counts. Oh, that was really easy, actually. Okay, but friend the talking toilet. Now we just have to drown us him in the pool, eat the cow plants cake, transform into an occult sim, which we're already doing, go to the forgotten grotto, raise a sim from the dead, have twins or triplets, bring Patchy the scarecrow to life, the curse of the night wraith, pufferfish nigiri, toilet paper the university statues, and get to six them. We need to have some like magical failures for this. I might actually just try to meet some other people that are also spellcasters and see if I can duel them. What does Don Lothario want? No, no, you can't stay at my house. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. So the event's over. Actually, we did not get to space. That's really cool. Um, wow. Let's just go home. <laughs>
take my word for it about the space stuff because it's not gonna happen. There's no way. What I can do is start working on Patchy. So I might have one sim come talk to the scarecrow. Oh no, wait. I was gonna try and like fight someone, wasn't I? Okay, never mind. We'll we'll bring over an enemy. I was gonna try and like drown Johnny, so I'll start that too. Daryl Charm's coming over. Magic duel. Do a heated duel, okay? See what happens. See if we can get cursed. Oh wow. Kind of chaotic. Oh, didn't work. Agony and defeat from losing a magic duel. Do it again. Johnny would rather not come over. Okay. Well, that's inconvenient. Maybe bring over like Dawn. Maybe I'll dump him and then drown him. You want to move in first, Dawn? That'll make things easy for me. Okay, luckily enough, Dawn actually has kind of bad needs already. I'm going to let him go start swimming. What are you doing? Oh my God, can you not swim? What? Oh no. Oh that really inconveniences things. Okay, um, <laughs> oh no. I'm never gonna get the Night Wraith thing now. I killed them. This is what I get for not paying attention. I was so focused on like all of these other things. Get out of there, Daryl Charm. Well, I can't even build the walls because my save is dying. Just take them, Grim, it's okay. Well, now I've got a cool uh, additional grave. <laughs> So I guess that's something, right? Dawn, I need you to swim. All right, I'm building some walls around this so I can kill him in here. Maybe like a glass fence, cause then I can see it, you know? All right, I'll just leave Dawn in there. Stanley, you've got kind of the whole place to yourself now. So I guess that's good. I may let you start talking to Patchy. You don't want to talk to Patchy. Okay, so for Dawn to drown, he just needs his energy to be all the way down and then he'll die, which shouldn't take us too long, probably like overnight or something. Well, I don't need the spellcaster stuff anymore. Oh, oh, my cow plant's grown. Oh, that's really good actually. Okay, so as soon as this thing is hungry, I'll eat from it. Did that say unlocked scarecrow outfit? Oh, I've got the scarecrow stuff in cast now. Well, that's good. Are you supposed to get a relationship bar with Patchy? Cause I don't have one yet. And I feel like I've been trying really hard. Maybe when I wake up, my cow plant will be hungry. <laughs> all right, Dawn's not doing very well. Passes out in two hours. So so we're almost there. Oh, oh, look, Weenie's watching. <laughs> Are you like tormenting him? You're like, look, I can take a nap. It's not safe for you to nap, but I can. <laughs> oh, oh, that was fast. Oh, okay, well, he's already drowning, so. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Dawn. Thank you. It was nice having you here. It was really, it was actually really good. We got a lot out of this. My new concern though, is that I need to have twins or triplets and I haven't really done that yet. I was kind of holding off. Um, well, I just drowned an enemy in the pool. I guess maybe I could put the on ley line lot trait here. That'll make us more likely to have twins or triplets. I should have woohooed with one of those people. <laughs> I kind of ruined my own chances there by not trying for a baby already. Is there anybody out and about that we could try for a baby with? The male person's over there. I want someone kind of chaotic though. Eleanor Elderberry. I kind of want like, you know, Jeffrey Landgrab or something. That's sort of where I'm at. We're, our humanity is still slipping. So we're getting somewhere with that. Let me just create a club. Baby daddies, question mark? And let me see who's available. Oh, Jeffrey's right there. Okay, maybe I will do Jeffrey then. I will literally do Jeffrey. Oh, oh my God, he's already here. I didn't even need to invite you over. You're just ready for the task. Oh, an acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jeffrey is good and I'm evil. Oh, I forgot about that. That's really annoying. Oh, this won't work, will it? That won't work at all. Let me try somebody else. Judith Ward. Oh, come on. I think that's the way. Hey, Judy. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Um, I was just wondering if you wanted to have three babies with me. <laughs> just a question. Just a question. Oh, that actually worked really well. Annoyingly, Stanley is upset. He's like sad about Don Lothario for some reason. Can't imagine why. Oh, she didn't like my gift. <gasps> I ruined it. Oh no. Oh no. And now my <laughs> my discomfort from turning into a vampire is like really inconveniencing me here. I think I can fix it. As long as we're uncomfortable and not sad, it's easier to be romantic. All right, let's try for a baby with Judith, please. Thank you very much. Hello? Oh, it's Ghost Dawn. Uh-oh. <laughs> I do not need that right now. I know I need to bring Ghost back to life. I just, I don't know if I can bring myself to worry about that. All right, pregnancy test. What do we got? Eating for two. Hopefully eating for four. I'm gonna check. Okay, it's twins, that's fine. Stanley Humphrey is turning into a vampire. Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Ah, what's that? Yeah, creepy. <laughs> oh no, put your clothes back on. Put your clothes back on. Am I ruined? Oh, okay, that was my dark thumb. We're fine, we're fine. Sorry, I just, anytime Stanley takes the hot dog suit off, it's like really jarring. <laughs> okay, well, we transformed into an occult sim. One thing that I didn't really think about is that I am now a vampire, so I can't be out during the day, which maybe wasn't like my smartest decision. Oh, 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 I can eat this. I can't eat it because I'm, 
Oh my god. I need someone else. Judy, you're coming in. You're moving in. I'm sorry. You have no choice. <laughs> I gotta get another sim. Now I'm a vampire. I'm useless. It's gotta be done. All right. You. Eat the cake. Stanley, you gotta go stand inside. You gotta go sleep or something. Okay. Judy has officially eaten the cake, so that's good. I can cross that off. Eat the cow plant's cake. I'm gonna go looking for puffer fish in a minute. We can take a chance with it and see if we can buy some. And then I might also see if I can find any of the stuff that we need for the ambrosia. Because Stanley, this version of Stanley, I didn't really think about this, but the one that I've been using by accident, cause like the one on my gallery, this version of Stanley has a bunch of max skills. <laughs> because I used him for a different one. He's not like a fresh Stanley anymore. And so I grabbed that one by accident and that one has max cooking and gourmet cooking skill, I think from a different Ambrosia challenge. So it is kind of cheating, but not really because he already has it and I didn't do it on purpose. So if we can find an angelfish and if we can find the ingredients that we need, I might be able to buy a death flower. Like we might be able to get this and then be finished. They are unfortunately not selling puffer fish here, but that's no problem. I need to toilet paper one of the university statues. So I think I might go out there and I'll just place the pufferfish stand on that lot. I am kind of anti-Foxberry if I'm being honest. So I might go out here and then TP their statue. <laughs> if you have city living and you're ever wanting to get the pufferfish and you can't find somebody who's selling it, just so you know, you can just place the food stall down like on a regular lot and then pay to staff it and then you can buy it anywhere. <laughs> so you don't have to wait for it to be sold in San Myshuno. You can just get some. And this is nice because if your Sims do a bad job of cooking this, it can kill people. <laughs> You can basically cook poison when it's poor quality, oh my. Or you could just be famous and kill people that way because <laughs> they'll just pass out around you apparently. Okay, well I ate it and we're not dead. So that's a good start. I took my chance. I don't even know how to do the toilet paper on this. I haven't tried. It has been so long since I last tried to mess with these statues. I don't even know when I last did it. <laughs> I don't know why Judith Ward is showing up at this college and like defacing it, but okay, <laughs> that's fine. She's done it. I shall cross off toilet paper, one of the university statues. I'm gonna have them both come out to Willow Creek now because it is nighttime. So we're not worried about Stanley anymore. I'm gonna see if we can get a selfie in the Forgotten Grotto. Actually, I might just send Judy home because then I can use her in the morning. We'll alternate so we can make full use of all of the time. <laughs> all right, Judy, you go back. You'll be fine. Stanley, it's your turn. Let's go. We'll do a little pregnancy shoot in the Forgotten Grotto, you know? We'll take some photos. <laughs> All right, let's go explore. I forget which one to do. Follow the light. I should have read it. <laughs> nope, didn't work. Okay, try again. I'll read them this time. Follow the sound. All right, travel to the glade. Wait, Sylvan Glade? Oh my God, you guys, I'm so silly. The Forgotten Grotto is the level 10 handiness one. This whole time, I thought it was Sylvan Glade. <laughs> I even knew that too. I was like, I don't think Forgotten Grotto is the right word for it. It's not, it's not, okay. Well, that's really bad because we don't have any handiness skill. You need to have level 10 maxed to get into the Forgotten Grotto. Yeah, that's um, that's gonna cause some problems for us. I'm gonna make Stanley go fish, I think. I'm just gonna have him go out and try to fish maybe in Willow Creek because that's where you can catch an angelfish. I believe it is this one where you can find an angelfish. So I'm just gonna try. There's a couple places you can catch angelfish in this game. The other one is in Sulani. Maybe I'll get lucky. <laughs> we'll see. We've got the cooking skill. So all we need for, oh no, all we need for the ambrosia is the fish, the death flower, and then the potion of youth, which I believe is 1500 and we have 1385. So we're close to that too. I got a minnow. Oh, I got an angelfish. Well, that was pretty easy actually. I was literally sat here, you guys. I was like contemplating, should I just cheat an angelfish in? And then he caught one. So never mind. We're fine. We have the angelfish. Now I need a death flower and that is more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a bit of an issue, but I have a plan. I'm gonna see if they're selling one when I go to the cottage living food stands and just cross my fingers. That's the current plan. I don't know if they do sell them, but I'm gonna hope. That's one of those things where you can just like check every day and hope for the best. Stanley, you wanna clean yourself. That should help. Oh my God, I don't even have any blood. I have not taken- <laughs> that we're a vampire. We have some power points. I don't know how I got them. Buy a couple of those things, why don't you? Oh, you only get five from the motives. <laughs> That's weak. Okay, my bad. Judith is too afraid of plants to harvest things because of the cow plant. Are you gonna be too scared of plants for me to be able to like buy plants from Cottage Living? When I come out here, are you gonna be too scared of that too? The problem I'm facing right now is that we are like this close to finishing. We've got pretty much everything marked off, except the things that we're missing are so hard. <laughs> <laughs> the things that are left are the worst ones. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to manage this. I've already been recording for two hours. This video is gonna be so long. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, anything in the grocery store? Please, please, please. I've got basically unlimited funds. Any death flowers in the garden shop? The chances are so low of there being a death flower in here, but it's worth trying. They do have some nice stuff. They've got like, no. <laughs> Strawberries, tomatoes. To get a death flower, we need lilies and pomegranates and, and like to splice them and stuff. I don't think that's gonna happen for us today. Okay, new plan. Let's see if we can get ghost Sterling in our household and have them go to the magic realm and see if they're selling it in there. And then Sterling can bring themselves back to life. <laughs> Add ghost to household. Okay, well, your needs can be fixed. If you're dead, I think your needs should be fine. I feel strongly about that. Oh, I don't have my magic realm thingy yet? What? That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Where'd my magic thingy go? Oh, being dead really complicates everything. I'm traveling to Glimmerbrook myself and I'm just gonna go out and use the portal. This is really annoying though. I guess I am cheating, so <laughs> I should just accept it, but I don't remember where the portal is. So let me do a little, oh, it's over here. Okay, we're fine. I got it. I shall travel to the magic realm. There is a store in here. And it sometimes, I think, sells death flowers. I don't really play with spellcasters, so I'm not 100% sure. It's like somewhere over here. One of these shops, I believe, if we are lucky. Rooms and crystals. Oh, I think it's gonna be this one. Of course, there's nobody in there. The one that I want is the one that's empty. Are you serious? This is the only thing that I need. I can't believe this. What hours is it even open then? If not now, when? It's noon on a Thursday. This is like strike five for this pack for me. I just wanna go in there. So so bad. I'm literally gonna buy a bed so I can try and sleep until the place opens. I'm just gonna put a random cot down. I'm not kidding. Oh cool, I can't triple speed. Okay. <laughs> It's just like, I don't even know what to say anymore at this point. Oh wait, there's a person. Yes. I just watched them come over here, buy potion ingredients. Here we go. Watch, there won't even be a death flower in here. It will all be for nothing. Oh, there is a death flower. And you can buy as many as you want. Oh, this is too easy. If you ever need one of those, the friend is spellcaster. Okay, well, I've got all that. So we can make the ambrosia now with a little bit of cheating. <laughs> we can do that. It's Patchy, the Night Wraith, and Sixum. I can't figure out why Patchy won't talk to me, even though I've tried a lot for like many hours. The Night Wraith, I can't even bother with because I'm dead. <laughs> and Sixum, we don't have a rocket ship. Like we haven't even started with that business. I need a little bit more of the satisfaction points because nobody else has any. Can you drink blood from ghosts? Serious question. <laughs> Is that possible? There's a random person in my house. There's not enough space in here for all of this. It's way too small for all these people to be standing around. Okay, I have officially almost sold three paintings to the art gallery. We have enough points to buy the potion of youth. So I'll grab that and then I'll make sure Stanley has the death flower. And now he should be able to craft the ambrosia. <laughs> okay, normally you'd have to do a lot of skill building for this, but we are in a tiny house, so it wouldn't take that long. As far as speed runs go, this is not really my best attempt. <laughs> this is kind of a flop, if I'm being honest. Okay, Sterling is officially eating the ambrosia, so that's nice. Wait, don't give them a rose. They're trying to come back to life. What do you think you're doing? Very, very bad timing, Stanley. Very bad timing. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're being haunted by Vlad right now too. That's nice. We're alive! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I killed you by accident, Sterling. Like, genuinely, I'm really sorry about that. But I did, in fact, raise a sim from the dead. I've yet to raise Patchy from the dead, but maybe we can try that now. Oh, I got trash fruit. That's nice. Well, Stanley is in his third trimester, so we'll give birth any second. So we'll have the baby stuff covered. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, I spoke too soon. Stanley's giving birth literally right now. Don't play with the cow plant. You're in labor. Okay, go to the hospital. I don't really want to have these kids. I may send them off with Judy. I'm gonna randomize their names. Dusty Humphrey. Free. And Jeffrey. Oh, okay. <laughs> the fact that I tried to have kids with Jeffrey, it didn't work. And then I named my son after him. Okay. I think they're both vampires. Interesting and scary. Okay. Well, we had twins and I, I think that might be the best that we can do. I kind of failed with the curse of the night wraith because I, I like killed my spellcaster sim. So I think I'm out with that challenge. I kind of failed with the forgotten grotto because I went to the wrong lot by accident. So I think I lose my privileges to attempt that one. And I also failed with getting to six them because I was going to try to do it when I went to the festival and then I didn't do it in time. So I almost feel like those three failed attempts disqualify me from finishing the challenge. And I don't even know about Pat 
Patchy. I don't know what's going on there. I really feel like I've talked to him enough. You have to talk to Patchy a lot to like befriend him and then he can come to life. But for some reason, it's like not, it's not happening for me. I've had multiple Sims try. Like it's just, it's not going well. So I feel like I kind of failed with Patchy too. It's not like it's my first time trying this, but it, it is my first time failing at this. I don't know why it's not working. It's been days and I still haven't had it work. Oh my God, Vlad's crying. This isn't the time. <laughs> This isn't the time. I'm sad too, because I failed the challenge, but it's okay. And I think we actually did a lot. We did almost all of it. I'm curious to know if you try this challenge, how far you get through it. It also might just be an interesting, like tag yourself. What have you done out of these things? <laughs> have you tried any of these things before today? The only thing that I have never done is lift the curse of the night wraith. I, I don't ever play with spellcasters. So maybe I should do like a whole video spellcaster curse attempts or something <laughs> and see if we can redeem ourselves there. Happy anniversary to the Sims. I'm really sorry that I failed the challenge, kinda. But I think I am gonna end this video right here. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Guys, oh my God, tomorrow I'm going wedding dress shopping in real life. I am terrified, terrified.